Marvel Studios has officially announced that they are developing a Nova project and I for one am gassed. If you don't know who Nova is, be sure to stick around because we're going to be breaking down this news now. Hello everybody, I'm your host Luca, and if you like TV shows and movies and just generally having a great time, maybe a little reaction, be sure to subscribe, ding dong that notification bell so you can be notified when my latest videos drop. Moon Knight's showrunner has been selected to develop the Nova project for Marvel Studios. So you know what that means. That means that the Moon Knight show that hasn't even come out yet must be really good for them to go, nah, you, nah, you're Russo level good. We're going to give you more projects. And I know it's only one, but I feel like this is definitely going to snowball into this guy getting more shows under his belt. They are making the Nova Project a limited series the same way that they made the Moon Knight show a limited series. So that means we get six 45-minute episodes that are basically six movies. They're going to have the same budget that all of the Marvel movies have. They're just going to be put into these TV shows and all the other MCU shows that we've had so far have definitely paid off. So for the people who don't know who Richard Ryder Nova is, I'm going to explain and break down the differences between the comic version of Richard Ryder and what we're going to be getting in the MCU. So Richard Ryder is a human that is living on Earth who is selected by Roman Day, so that is John C. Riley's character. They call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. What a bunch of a-holes. In the comics, Roman Day is the sole survivor of the Nova Corps. We met them in Guardians of the Galaxy, helping the Guardians fight off the Nova Corps against Ronan the Accuser's invasion of Xander. And he chooses Richard Ryder to be the next Nova Prime giving him all of the power of the entire Nova Force, which is basically the equivalent to Marvel's Power Cosmic, which is what Galactus gives his heralds. So Silver Surfer has the Power Cosmic. Nova is Silver Surfer level strong in the comics. The Power Cosmic gives Richard Ryder enhanced speed, durability, superhuman strength, it gives him a healing factor and it even gives him the power to generate energy from his entire body. Now we've seen Xandar a little bit in the MCU so far. Xandarians are the main race of people that make up the Nova Corps and Xandar was destroyed by Thanos on his quest in search of the Infinity Stones and it was cut out of the theatrical cut of Avengers Infinity War. So I think that the perfect way for us to introduce Nova and Xandar to a more broader audience would be for us to use the deleted footage that was left on the cutting room floor from Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame and we could use those as the building blocks for the Nova project that's currently in development. If you're liking this video so far be sure to hit that like button so you can see more videos like this from me and it helps more than you can imagine. At the beginning of Avengers Infinity War, we see it pick up where the post credit scene of Thor Ragnarok left off, which is Thanos has killed half of the Asgardians and he is torturing Thor in front of Loki, Heimdall and the survivors. In the deleted scenes, it was supposed to be Thanos and his Black Order go to Xandar, decimate the planet, go in to get that power stone, seemingly killing the entire Nova Corps unknowingly to him Richard Ryder had already been selected by the Xandarian world mine to be the next Nova Prime so that means that he would have already been on Xandar doing training being a low rank level of the Nova Corps but since there is nobody left he is the sole survivor he gets all of the power of the entire Nova Corps giving him a massive power boost because he's the only body using that energy, which makes him the most powerful Nova Prime that there has ever been. Nova was supposed to come back in Endgame and have a battle that was similar to Wanda where he almost kills her, but it was scrapped and left on the cutting room floor as having two at the same time would have been a bit diminishing. At the same time, we've not seen or ha would have met him and it would have been his first introduction. It's just a bit too crowded for the massive movie that Avengers Endgame ended up being and Avengers Infinity War. 
Are you looking forward to seeing Nova joining the MCU? Comment down below as I want to know what you think. The reason that Nova was ultimately cut from Avengers Infinity War and Endgame was because they wanted to get to Thanos acquiring the Power Stones and instead of just introducing a character and not really being able to give him the development that he really needs, especially since Nova is such a huge character. Now with all that footage left on the cutting room floor, it can actually be used in this Nova project and maybe that was Marvel's plan all along. Maybe they had this in their long arching plan that they could just have all this work that they'd put in development on Richard Ryder and maybe even the actor that was initially cast that we didn't hear about could have been chosen to be the Richard Ryder specifically for this Disney Plus show. If you want to stay in the loop with more videos like this be sure to subscribe, ding dong that notification bell and like the video to see more videos like this from me Luca. I'll see you in the next one my babies, peace.